And welcome back to the Core State Spectrum here in Philadelphia. And as I indicated before, most fight fans know that this bout was originally scheduled to take place last month in Las Vegas. However, due to the thumb injury to Mike Tyson, it was postponed. Well, our own John Madden covered that subject and others in a wide-ranging interview with Mike Tyson this past Wednesday. How are you doing, and specifically, how's your thumb doing? That's not too bad. It's okay. What happened to it? How did you do that? I, I had broke it in Ohio, but I didn't realize it was really broken. Then I cracked it again in Las Vegas. Is boxing fun? I would say so, yeah. Has it always been fun? Well, when I was young, it wasn't too fun. I mean, because the pressure was heavy. But, you know, as, as you get older, it gets easier. How come it gets easier? I don't know. I guess because you're more mature and you're just more confident. You're not basically thinking about um, the negative parts of boxing because you already adjusted yourself through that through your adolescent stages. Well, how did you feel when you won the championship? I mean, you were so young then to be the heavyweight champion of the world. It was more of an arrogant feel. I knew, you know, I was just so confident. I knew I was going to win. It was really no big issue. You know, when you have a little kid and it's always spoiled, you just knew it was going to happen. He knew his father, mother was going to get, I knew I was going to get that title. I knew I was going to be champion. But at 20 years old, I mean, when you're the heavyweight champion, are you like you're the toughest guy in the whole world? You have to understand, I'm, I'm from an honorary school, from being around custom model and coming from Brooklyn, New York. I was honorary. I knew I was going to win that title. I had no other choice but to win that title. You know what I mean? I didn't want to have to deal with going back to the slums and hard times in New York. You know what I mean? I wasn't going to be denied. Is that what drove you to be what you are, that, that you didn't want to go back there? No, I used that as an excuse. But I, I had more ego than anything, I think. When were you your best? When were you the best Mike Tyson's ever been? I like my Marvis Frazier and my Alex Stewart fight. They're my best fights, I thought. And where are you now? Where are you now compared to, you know, if you say that you know, at a peak, say Alex Stewart, where are you today compared to that? The inactivity that I had, you know I mean, would have to take a toll because that, but as of my performance in the gym and how I feel by myself, you know I mean, I feel great. I feel better than ever. But, you know, I used to deal with the reality that my four-year layoff may have something to do, but from my boxing, um, and from what people have witnessed of me, I just, I feel great. I feel like I haven't missed a beat. Did you learn anything? Did anything come out of being away? Did that, that made you a different person? I just, you know, I mean, being in a place like that is just, it's a different planet. And people who are normally decent people are no longer decent people in that kind of environment. But you must understand, my experience is just, I, I just appreciate my life appreciate dear friends and my family and we just have to all pray to God that we don't run into a situation like that again because we're going to have bad times we'll have good times nothing left forever but when they do come you have to stand firm with them and ch and deal with it courageously and brave well how long will it take you to get back to where you were your best after the four-year layoff I don't know sometimes I probably think I'm not at my best now that I may go in the ring with the champ or something and may obliviate him I don't know then somebody may say he's at his best and I say God I didn't feel that way you never know when you're at your best at least I don't you just never know just it happens it comes like when you're in the ring I don't know about football but you know sometimes you just don't feel good and then soon the lights are on bow you get that snap that hunger in your stomach and you're just ready to eat this guy alive where are you now on that road to the championship well, um, one fight away. How does this fight look, Buster Mathis Jr.? Well, it looked good for me. <laughs> and then, and then, how about the next fight? I'm just, man, I'm, I'm truly confident. You know, I'm, and it's something ironic because being a Muslim, I, you know, I mean, I no longer, I'm not allowed, you know, I mean, within my heart, I don't feel good saying things that I would normally say about these certain individuals. Like you asked me those questions, like. Three years ago, four years ago, you'd ask me, I would have told you what I would have did to these guys and what would have happened to them. But it's a struggle in itself, trying to be humble. It's just a struggle. And I have a lot of accomplishments not to be humble. Can you be humble and have an ego and want to be the best and do whatever it takes in the ring? I mean, can all those things work together? Well, you know, I'm just, I'm doing what God gave me the ability to do. And fight my butt off. I remember when I when I first in New York I used to watch all the time when you first turned pro and it seemed like you were fighting 
every week. It was probably every couple of weeks or once a month in those days. And you just walk in a room, boom, bam, you'd knock out someone and go out. And I'd say, this guy, I've never seen anything like this yet. It's more fun now than it was then, that that, that part of it wasn't yeah, fun? Yeah, yeah. You know, it was, it was um, something I was just experienced. I wasn't too experienced as an individual intellectually in dealing with that process. I'm more relaxed, I'm more focused. I don't know, see, um, you're more familiar with um, football, and I don't know if uh, you're familiar with any football players that you say a quarterback, that get better as they get older, they get more disciplined, they're more uh, aware of their, their tutiveness, they just, they're calm, relaxed, and that's just how I feel. I'm very confident, relaxed, and calm. Yeah, quarterbacks get that way. Like Steve Young of 49ers was that way. When he, as he got older, they were always telling him to be more relaxed and calm. And he is more relaxed and calm. He's a better quarterback. It's, it's, a lot of athletes told me it's hard for them to be relaxed and calm. So when do you think you'll be champion again? When I fight for the title. <laughs> I'm not going to be denied, man. Mm -mm. And the man behind that closed door, Mike Tyson, well, John Madden and other fight fans are well aware that he is a young man who hits with bad intentions. 